Hey guys, got another one of my homemade guns here. Uh, I, let, I put a few posts already online about this. I made a shorter two, but this is my blowback uh, 380. Uh, this is of course semi-automatic, and it's uh, obviously inspired by the uh, the Tommy guns, uh, Thompson guns of old. Uh, the Tommy gun I was trying to go after was the I guess they call the 1928 A1 because I have a coffee cup with them on there. Uh, so I wanted the top handle, handle up top. Uh, of course, the real Tommy's had about a 10, in, 10, 11 inch barrel. This one has to have a 16 inch barrel. It's actually about 17 inches because of uh, NFA restrictions. But yeah, the the barrel is a, uh, a a barrel blank I bought from Preferred Barrel Blanks, new company. First time I've used them. It has a one and 16 inch twist, uh, which is what you know you'd want a 380. And I'm sure most of you are familiar with the 380. Uh, it takes uh, Ruger LCP uh, 380 magazines. This one's actually a 15 rounder. Uh, I don't know why they make a 59 I'm glad they do. Uh, but yeah, so it, it shoots good, feeds good. Uh, been, a, been a pretty fun gun to shoot. But here, let me uh, let you get a better look at some of the lines. Of course, that, that Thompson slope here. i got a brass butt plate. Uh, of course, all the wood is American walnut. Uh, the, the upper portion here is, uh, is steel. Of course, the bolt's all steel. Uh, the trigger mechanism and the mag catch, all that's aluminum. The trigger components are... Uh, Heavily modified AR-15 triggers, uh, trigger parts. Um, of course, the barrel, and I put a, I put iron sights because you know it's a Thompson. I put a brass um, front sight, and it has an aluminum uh, back peep sight. Uh, a few other features: it does have a magazine catch, uh, um, not probably not the best, but of my own design. And uh, if you look down here, you can see to retract the bolt, you can kick it over and lock it in. Uh, that way you can lock the bolt back, and you can actually give it that H and K slap uh, to uh, you know once you put the magazine in to uh, chamber around. Uh, the extractor is a heavily modified AR-15 extractor, uh, again heavily modified. But uh, hey, let's take this thing to range, put a few rounds through it, and then we'll come back and I'll show you uh, how to uh, field strip it. All right. That's a fun gun to shoot. Uh, it's a little gassy, uh, so make sure you wear eye protection. Of course, anytime you shoot any sim auto, make sure you wear eye protection. But uh, of course, to 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 work the action, you, know, you just you know, that's how you charge. And you can kick, like I said, you can kick the bolt over in this notch to uh, leave the uh, you know, to leave the weapon open. And you can lo to load a magazine. Uh, let me get it in view here for you. Uh, you just stick it in the mag well and knock it in there into. See it pocking up, pocking up right there, and to extract it, just push this little bar forward and pull the magazine out. So that's how the mag catch works, and uh, of course the the H and K slap uh, to charge it. But let me show you roughly how to fill strip this thing. Uh, it's not got the world's best uh, manual of arms for disassembly. To disassemble, you have to first have to take the uh, pistol grip off. But let me do that. So I got the pistol grip off there. Um, and all this, was, all this woodwork was done with American Walnut. Uh, it, uh, it has a, a linseed finish and then about five coats of shellac. Um, probably wouldn't use shellac normally on the, on gun stocks, but you know I'm not going to take this thing out in the rain. So uh, shellac should, uh, should leave a nice little luster to it. But uh, So the next part to take out is there's two screws that hold in the, the buttstock. Let me take those out. Take the buttstock off. Uh, like I said, this thing assembles, disassembles a little strange. Uh, but here's that buttstock. I tried to, you know, you can find, you know, rough uh, dimensions and stuff for these things. So this is a little bit scaled down for a real Thompson gun, real Tommy. Um, of course, see the brass butt plate, and I did did put some sling mounts on it uh, if I want to put a sling on it. Uh, but that shellac turned out nice. But again, I, I don't think you'd want to use shellac normally for. Uh, for a, for a gun, um, there's a, I guess you call it like a, a metal stock block in here. 
uh, to interface uh, with the receiver. You know, you don't want to screw directly, necessarily directly into the receiver for something that uh, you know needs a decent amount of uh, rigid rigidity. Okay. Next thing is I will take uh, there's two screws that hold the trigger housing in. Take them out, and then we can flip it over and take out the bolt mechanism. And here is the trigger housing. We're not going to take it apart. Uh, you know, for normal stri field stripping, you wouldn't do that. Uh, actually, the trigger guard. But yeah, it's just a heavily modified uh, AR-15 uh, trigger hammer and, and disconnector down in there. So nothing you probably haven't seen before. But next, we will uh, flip it over here and work it, take the uh, bolt handle out. It just screws out the top. And uh, there's a set screw right here you take out and unscrew this plug. And the bolt should come on out. Uh, so here's the plug that goes in the back of the receiver. Um, there is there is an extra screw here for support. You know you don't want the bolt coming out the back of the gun at you because it is a blowback gun. There's a lot going on. Uh, so that is all that is, just to keep everything nice and tight. And we can take the well the bolt out the gun here. Uh, and the uh, of course that's the spring. And the, I guess, spring guide. The spring, actually, I got from a Browning 1919 spring. Those are, those are excellent springs, by the way. And I uh, cut it down uh, to the proper length. Uh, but here's that bolt. I mean, I, sh I shot it this morning, so it's still kind of dirty. Uh, like I said, it's got an AR. We'll get that in focus a little better. Here you go. An AR style. Uh, it's, it is an AR-15 extractor. It's been heavily ground and modified. Um, there is a firing pin in here. You see right there that the that the uh, hammer hits, and there's a spring in there to make sure it comes back. Uh, there's a little set screw there that keeps that in there. I'm not going to take all this apart. You know how extractors work. And spring loaded firing pins work, and here's the back of the bolt where, the, of course, the spring keeps pressure on it. And the, the hammer can go up through this square cutout right here. Um, get that in view a little better. There we go. Um, it weighs about 315 grams. There's a website called blowback9.com that does a lot of math on blowbacks. And he does 9mm, not 380, but the math should be similar. So that's where I got all the mathematics, or at least got started with mathematics uh, with this gun. So yeah, so if you have any questions, or you know, feel free to let me know. But that's where I got the math from on determining uh, masses and velocities of the bolt. Uh, the, the brass looks good. You know, it's not, it's not bulging or anything weird. Um, but the bolt could probably be a little heavier. Like I said, it's a little, a little smoky. So, um, so all blowbacks are, I guess. But the extract, sorry, the ejector, it's just a fixed post. See if I can get that in the view. Right there, you see it. Um, it's just a fixed post. Uh, that the, the bolt has a channel cut in it. Right there, that kicks out. Uh, the case when you shoot it. Uh, I'm not going to take the magazine housing apart. Uh, there's a, a nifty little mag. I had to make my own little mag catch uh, method in there. Of course, all this is made of aluminum, but normally for field stripping, you wouldn't take this apart. Uh, there's also a block up in here uh, that the stock screws into, and that block screws into the barrel. Again, you normally wouldn't take that apart. Just let you get a look at uh, look at everything here. Um, it's a pretty simple gun. I mean, it is a blowback, semi-auto. Um, some of the more complicated parts, like the trigger mechanism, I just took from an AR-15 and modified it. And I think that that wood turned out pretty. One last little highlight. You know, you want to make sure there. There's the the feed ramps. Let's see if I can get that a better, better look down in there. You can see the feed ramps. They had to be put in there to help uh, help feed those old 380s. And to put it together, you just reverse the process. Of course, take the bolt here, and you've got your spring guide and your spring, and you, of course, put that in the uh, in the gun. And there's the plug, like I said, discussed earlier. Want to make sure that's good and tight. That's why that set screws there, to make sure that doesn't uh, back out. And I'll do that. Of course, the next thing is the bolt handle screws into the bolt right there. I'll do that. Next thing is to attach, uh, reattach the uh, trigger mechanism. Of course, there's just two screws here and here, and again, just the, the standard AR 
um, trigger group in there. Interesting fact, if you don't, you have the trigger, I'm sorry, the safety in an AR, uh, the safety limits the forward travel of the of the hammer. So you have to do something. So I put a set screw there to stop that, that forward travel. A little interesting tidbit. If, uh, the next thing I do uh, will be to attach the, uh, the buttstock. Uh, again, there's just two screws right here. They screw into the uh, receiver back here. Uh, before I do that, I was going to say I do have a few books for sale on my uh, on Amazon. Uh, if you know if this kind of thing interests you, uh, there are some different. Uh, I have I published several different books uh, on Amazon. Check out my 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 uh, channel if you're interested. Uh, they're all three different designs, not this design, but a single shot rifle, a single shot pistol, and a magazine fed rifle. More information on my channel. If something like that interests you, check it out. But let me uh, get this butt pad mounted back on here. And the last step really is to attach the uh, the pistol grip, uh, the walnut pistol grip. I was going to say a few of the comments about shooting this thing. For sure, the bolt is slamming back against this plug, and that is a little jarring to the weapon. Some screws will sometimes come loose. Um, you know, you really don't want that. There's 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 mitigation ways you can put springs back here, buffers, you know, just pieces of rubber, or you could you know make it where it doesn't slam the back. It the, the the recoil spring would stop it and go forward. So. I was going to say that, you know, this, this design is not flawless. Uh, so that it's a little jarring back here. And so sometimes I'll notice a screw or something might be shaking a little loose. And you can probably see from the video for 380, um, it's, it's kind of punchy. But like I said, the bolt weighs about 315 grams. And I weighed a Walther PPK slide, a PPKS slide I had. And it was about 200 grams. So, and it also shoots 380. Of course, the barrel length on this is, you know, 15 more inches, 14 more inches than a Walther. But, um, Anyway, it's just, you know, I don't have any conclusions, just sharing. But let me put this uh, this pistol grip back on the uh, the trigger here. So I got that put back together. A few of the little notes here, like you may see this part right here. This right here is how I control how far in the magazine can go. Um, it hits this uh, River LCP. It has this little plastic tab right here, and that sets the depth that I want for the, uh, you know, for the, for feeding. And that right there, that little screw right there is the uh, ejector. That you saw from the other side. So it's it's been a really fun gun to uh, to make uh, and to design. It's it's just you know it's kind of neat. I've always wanted a Thompson, and of course I can't afford a real one. So this is probably as close as I'll get. And it was funner than just going out to buy one of the new auto ordinances. But hey guys, there it is, my blowback uh, 380 uh, Tommy gun inspired. Uh, been a fun gun, uh, fun gun to work on, fun gun to shoot and test. Um, but like I said, uh, stuff like this interests you. I do have some books available. Uh, check out my channel. Of course, check out my channel for any other uh, uh, any other things I've built. Or maybe something uh, will be entertaining for you over there. Anyways, guys, I appreciate it. Be safe. God bless. Thanks.